Alright everybody, welcome to Palma, Mallorca. The E-Yachts team is here on the ground and we're coming through some of the lovely boats here on display. Behind us here we have the Pardo 50. Absolutely stunning condition, lovely painted hull. Position next to us the 43, so a great opportunity to see like for like and feel the difference between them. But walking on you really feel how grand and how wide this boat particularly is. I'm standing here on the hydraulic platform which is a great feature here, drops down. This will open up for a garage and the tender just slides straight out. A very practical thing for, for Australia, having a nice discreet tender out of the weather and doesn't take anything away from the boat, which is uh, probably most important. So in here we've got a nice Williams jet tender, but still plenty of other room. We've got, there's a life raft there, there's some cushions there. There's still plenty of room to put your toys, so it's uh, a really great use of space on a 50 foot boat, which is uh, quite unheard of. Look, straight away in the back here, you've got this massive sun lounge area. Obviously, we've got the, the shade open, but half a dozen people across there. What's quite smart is it can be reversed around and have the lounge back here too if you want to be facing forward and connected with everyone in the dining area, but a very large and, and very well thought out area. The, the material is lovely. The stitching is nice. It really pops definitely against the dark hull, but this is awesome. I'm, I'm here in the shade. Everyone dining's in the shade. But if you want sun, either just close it a little bit or, or lay the other way. This is, this is awesome. You know, another great thing with the Pardo insignia on the, the back gate here. So while you're underway, you've got little ones or, or just making you feel a bit safer that the, door, the gate is shut, but just a nice little touch. Here in the dining area, this table is on an up and down pedestal. But what we got, seating for four here now. You could really have five, six, seven. You could definitely seat quite a few around here very easily and nicely. And the cool thing with this table is it will all fold up. These corners will all fold up and go into a small coffee table, which is uh, more practical to get around. It'll, I'm sure, yeah, it'll have a swing mechanism that will pivot to become a square again. Really smart little ingenious piece of cabinetry. Um, obviously very similar to all the other Pardo boats. Nice little drawer fridges either side. Great for you know sort of 15, 16 cans. Definitely bottles of wine fit in there nicely and, and, and I've got to say the Dometic they get cold so quick it's uh, they're a good little powerful fridge. Just quickly while we're here, obviously this is the 50, right next door is the 43. You can compare the size of this dining area. It's you know, still quite nice. You can fit six people through the seating area. A um, few people on the back in the sun lounge, the headrests flip around, but immediately you can just see this is twice the size and very grand, a very grand feeling. We're probably sitting, you know, sort of 10, 15 centimetres higher than the 43. Um, the deck feels a little bit higher again. But uh, look, both stunning boats, just good time opportunity to see the, the difference in size. So there's a couple of options. If you don't want the electric awning, just like on the 43 next door, we've just got a manual uh, system with, same with hydro, um, sorry, carbon fibre poles. Nice, simple, easy option. Once you get to your anchorage, two poles, Four clips, up in two minutes. The wet bar here, awesome once again. Very standard with Pardo. We've got a nice induction cooktop, a very large square sink here. This is great. Throw all the dishes in once you've uh, had lunch. If you need to wait till you get back to the dock, you can throw it in there and out of the way. Or it's a workbench here. Obviously we've got a crew cabin on this side, but with that down, we've got a bit more preparation space as well. This is a great feature here. You're always short of a bin on a boat. We've got a bin right under the sink, right in the galley area. And then over here we should have another refrigerator. Nice good isotherm fridge. The port is storage. Nice place to put all your cutlery, plates, 
dishes, things like that, glasses. So there's no shortage of storage and features on this Pardo 50. You got a little ice maker starboard side of the wet bar. And then just forward of this, a little bit more storage too, all nicely finished in a, in a teak. Under the helm, we've got a little bit more storage. So there's quite a lot of storage throughout this whole galley area. Perfect for entertaining through the day with you know 10 dozen people quite easily. So we're underneath this T-top, which for Australia is, is quite necessary. It's quite large. We've got three windows here and I thought a bit too much light was gonna come in, but it's, it's not. We've got the sun directly above us. It's a hot day here in Palmer and uh, I'm not feeling any of the sun whatsoever. Great thing with the T-top and the dash, all the carbon accents and, uh, and these parts of the boat are manufactured by Lamborghini and uh, their suppliers. Really nice touch with the carbon infill, double Garmin screen, nice Volvo Penta uh, engine monitoring which is a good size, good visibility from the helm. Everything's nice and ergonomic from being here at the wheel, obviously adjustable, Volvo IPS engine, joystick here just outboard, and then a nice minimalistic dash, you know, all the buttons, uh, backlit too for nighttime, uh, and obvious to see when they're turned on, but uh, a very, just a clean, clean helm, which is quite important, not too many gizmos and gadgets. Obviously the passenger seat here is quite nice, you've got a nice hand grip as well as the passenger next to the helm. Some storage for your phones and keys and knickknacks. Now look, maybe not a, a feature that all Australians are going to take, but you've got a crew cabin on here. It could either be a crew cabin or a storage locker. It could be an extra kids uh, overflow down there as well if you did want to take that. It still is down there, a bit of a wet area, so if you did want to throw things, you can still put them down there without worry um, but you do have a, a third cabin down here which is which is quite cool on a 50 foot boat nice and easily accessed there's a shower and toilet down there as you walk around like I'm 510 I've got nice high nice thick bulwarks everything feels safe and solid and there's no flimsiness or, or unsafeness especially having young children you walk around here and how awesome is this? We've got a great bow area, nice seating forward, sun lounge there for another four, five, six, I don't know, there's eight people can be up here quite simply. We've got the nice carbon fibre Euro awning forward, which is nice and easily to set up, four poles. This is giving us great sun protection, which once again for Australia, we need you know, a few little smart items. Got cup holders built in here, obviously when you're lounging here, we need to put our drinks somewhere. The, the, the thickness of these cushions feels lovely. You know, it's nice and comfortable. It's not hard and raw. A little headrest is really nice. Jeez. Need a bit of sangria and, uh, and have a nap here today, I think. With this sun lounge, you, you get the best of all worlds. You've got the lounge, you've got a nice seating area here, which to be underway and cruise is, is, is lovely. For two of you, two people up on the bow, it's a great little conversation piece. The, the cushions which I notice, are, are, they're indented into the, or recessed into the, the cabin top there, so wind's not going to pass underneath and flip up the cushions, which is, is so common on boats these days. So they've thought about all the little things that are annoying to, to boat owners, especially on a boat like this that goes quick and it's, it's a big open boat. Look, we can't see the anchor on this boat because it's just a bit awkward, but if we look next door at the 43, it is exactly the same. You've got this reverse rate bow, very aggressive, but very, very cool and stylish. But that anchor system that pops out, the, the, the insert there and the anchor drops away. It does seem intricate, but it's actually very simple. And, uh, and you've got a nice camera that gives you full visibility as the anchor's going up and down straight from the helm. So it's, it, it's simple, but it works. On a boat like this, you can never have enough good sound system. And Pardo, using JL Audio, Fusion uh, head units, this thing's got four speakers plus a subwoofer on either side. I'm sure there's a couple more speakers in the cockpit area, so this boat's just going to pump with the music going, which 
we all love a good sound system. Cool thing with the whole Pardo range, if this was to be used as a super yacht tender or coming along, especially here in Europe where you come alongside walls or, or a higher dock, a nice easy on and off. Very simple, nice and safe, and just like that it tucks away. Another typical thing with Pardo is these cleats. Pop up and down cleats, this is a very large cleat, very strong, but straight away it disappears with the Pardo insignia, it's very classy. Coming down here we've got a nice wide companionway, lots of places to grab as you come down. Wow. Got nice natural light coming through the sunroof. You've got this uh, door that can open up to make this a full open area or for your privacy. Obviously coming straight into the master cabin. It's quite nice. Obviously up front here we've got the VIP or, or owner's cabin. Good size queen's bed. Nice walk arounds which is uh, pleasant for anyone who's got to make a bed on a boat. But uh, nicely fitted out, nice uh, leather inserts here, stainless. The timber work on here is the standard light oak. We love it, or this colour here, but it, uh, it, it, it works. It uh, nice accents with the white, with the, the leather. Leather bound bed, plenty of storage underneath. Heaps of cupboard space. A large closet, it's not walk-in, but it can be. There's an abundance of storage. Everywhere you look, there's a cupboard. Oh, that's really nice for all your wine glasses. All uh, nice finished with the cutout, so they don't rattle around while you're underway. The nice thing with this boat is you do have your own private bathroom in here with a separate shower. The rain shower, which is really nice on the Pardo, the whole range of Pardo boats. But you've also got a second toilet which is a day head for everyone on board. So if you don't want people using your bathroom, they've got dual access from here in the main foyer or for whoever's sleeping in the back here, direct access as well, which is quite nice. Look, quite smart use of space here. Obviously we're above the main cockpit, but for kids or a couple of extra people sleeping on board, this is more than fine. All covered space, drawers, nice uh, TV here too. If you wish to have that, actually little lighting accents above the beds. This is really cool, great use of space. Wrapping up here on the Parto 50 at uh, Palma, Mallorca. This is a great boat, E-Yachts, we're the importers for this boat and we're looking forward to get uh, of these into Australia. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Nice. For more information, please call us at E-Yachts or email us, visit our website, eyachts.com.au